I was sitting in the kitchen at night and I was looking in my dad's old cookbook and I'm gonna show you a couple of the old Pennsylvania Dutch recipes that he has in here and I'm gonna do some red beet eggs on one of my next videos and I was just looking through it and I wanna show you a couple of the recipes he has in there. Okay, I was looking at my dad's cookbook here, the Pennsylvania Dutch cookbook. Okay, here's one we used to always eat. Don't think I'm gonna do this one, but I do remember going with my father back in probably the 60s to the market and getting pig, pig lining or the pig's stomach. And then what he'd do, he would sew, he put all the ingredients in the pig's stomach and he would uh, sew it up and bake it. Yeah, uh, that was very strange. That's a, that's definitely a Pennsylvania Dutch thing, but I'm sure people up north probably know what that is, but down here, not so much. There's another one I used to eat a lot when I was a kid, corn fritters. They're like a pancake and they have corn in them. Man, you talking about good, they're good too. Maybe I'll do a video on those one day. Okay, here's a big Pennsylvania Dutch thing. Uh, shoe fly pie. There's three types. The first type is dry. The second type is a damp. And then there's a cake type, I guess. Um, here's the directions. If you want to pause in the video here and look at all this but i'm just kind of going over i just want to show you a couple of these recipes that he had